Hi everyone, hey and welcome back to yet another episode of Battle Up Resume. This is a, a recap episode, one that I'm really excited to get into because I'm hearing this event was crazy. I've seen a bit of the footage on, on Viewpoint, as I'm sure many people have. But, um, you know, I want, I want to hear it from the horse's mouth. I want to hear it from someone who was there. And I'm very lucky with doing Battle Up Resume that it's got to the point now where this is an event that I can't make. I'll probably be someone who's been on the show, who's a friend of the show, who's a, a correspondent of sorts, who will relay the good details of Jonathan Rimmel recently from DF Scotland, now keeping 140. We've got Dom. Dom I'm good to have you back, man. Yeah, man, respect. No, of, of course, man. And before we get into this, um, did I just did I see you in the back of some dub scandal battles the other day, or? Yeah, that's me. That's nice, me. man. Are, are you battling there, or? I think you said. Um, you... I'm hoping to next time. I think I'm gonna grow some balls and, right. and uh, go in. But we've just um, they've just uploaded the scythe that we did. Oh I'm right. On. Okay. So check that out. Shit, yeah, yeah, no, I do need to check that out. Um, yeah, it was just cool to see them, man. And some of those battles were pretty good, actually. Maverick was pretty impressive. Acre. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. sick. You know, it wasn't like a standard sort of just, you know, whatever event. Like, there was some proper talent there. Yeah, it was, um, it was like an old school feel to it. Mm. And, like, the whole day was just good, like, the vibe and, like, everyone being there. Mm, mm, mm. And, I mean, talking of vibe, we get to keeping it 140, which just went down yesterday. Uh, before we get into the battles as a whole, just generally as an event, a uh, big success in your eyes? Yeah, as, especially for uh, um, the debut event. Like, it, it ran quite smooth, like, mm -hmm. to say they had some problems before with having to get CDJs because the ones they had at the event, um, they, like, mounted to a wall in, like, where the bar is. Right, so, oh, shit. They couldn't use them, but it were like the setup, the place was proper sick. Mm, mm. Like you have the when you walk down the stairs and um, you've got the stage and that, then you go up this ramp into the bar area. She's playing like old school hip hop and that. It was, oh, I was sick. Mm, mm. I, um, I heard there were a lot of people there as well. Yeah, I think they were like 150. Right. I'm hearing. I think. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah it was a good turnout. That's decent, man. And um, so we get get into the first battle, uh, problematic versus Danbo. How did, how was this, Dom? Um, it was the first battle, yeah. and uh, with the mics, they just had the lapel mics at first for this sure. one. Um, and I was at the front mostly, so I, I could hear what they were saying. But yeah. um, there were just issues with like the mics being too low and. Like it takes mm. ages, like asking, asking the crowd, can they hear the battlers? No, like turn the mics up and yeah. But like in the battle, the battle itself was actually quite good. Dambo mm. really had a good performance. He got like a few reloads, and um, I was in, I was impressed. With him. I'd like to see him back on keeping mm. it on foot. Say it was problematic, but I think uh, in the I think he maybe second round. He had like a slight choke, but I think that was because um, Dambo was very well received in his in sure. his first round, and uh, problematic. Like he was, he was good, but like the crowd wasn't really like reacting to his stuff. Mm. So I think that kind of kind of threw him off. But for as the battle as a whole, it were it was good. But like I said, with the mic situation, it just yeah, it, it didn't ruin it, but it weren't weren't as good as it could have been mm, mm. it's always difficult isn't it especially to go first at a, you know an event where the beats are so important you yeah know, the balance can get a little bit out of whack and it can ruin it but no it's good, good to hear nonetheless and um swift versus artifact this one yeah uh well after the problematic and dambo battle they uh, decided to use handheld mics and the lapel mics so they used the lapel mics for the footage audio mm -hmm. and then the mics and then like the crowd could hear all the, the the battlers and that so like all the battles after that dambo problematic battle like you could hear every battle clearly mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um it was loud enough but this battle was good um swift <laughs> when the artifact uh, came up mm -hmm. he was on his own and then swift came up and he's obviously from Leeds, so he's got all his boys there and they were like they were like 10 people just got on stage oh, shit and bless him, artifacts like sh looked like he was shitting himself. <laughs> like just seeing all these guys behind Swift and but to be fair to to Artifact, he mm. took it definitely. Oh shit. Uh, Swift pulled out his phone uh, on one of his rounds. Yeah. Um I think he re he may have repeated his second round and his third. Oh. 
or it may be like a uh, old bars or something. Yeah, that's bad. But it was uh, it annoying because I like Swift because I've is a two on two battle with P Soldier against uh, EZ and Striker. Like that's a good battle, mm, mm. and I've heard like his other stuff like freestyles and that. So I was I was hoping that he was having a good performance. So I was kind of disappointed when he was like pulling his phone out and like he wasn't clean with his performance. Um, but yeah, artifact. Um, he was he was good, and he mm. pulled out a comb. <laughs> he pulled out a, a prop. Oh, right, shit. Yeah, for uh, for Swift's hair, <laughs> the crowd just, <laughs> he just shut it down. As soon as he pulled the comb out, everyone was just gassed <laughs> in the room. <laughs> Getting gassed over a comb, man. That's what it's all about. Like I, I yeah. can see it though. I can see, so what? I, I Swift visually, what is he comb over? Is it all? Is that sort of what we got going on? It's like a little. Uh, like mini high top type fade right, thing. Right, right. Okay. But like, it, it, it didn't need the comb. But he was like, because he's, because he's black and he's got black man hair, and he's pulled out the afro comb and that, and sure. everyone was just like, oh shit. Oh, oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, yeah, I definitely want to see that one. And but but Swift's boys didn't help Swift. Then it was still just kind of. Uh, nah, well, nah. like for some some of his bars did a like got a bit mad, but Swift's bars were good. Like I, I like some of his bars and his thing. Mm. His rounds and that, but he was just he were ashamed that he were he weren't too prepared for it. And there's this thing we see in in Grime Dom, or at least I've seen when I started watching Words of Weapons. I was you know new to Grime through that pretty much. Where I quite like when it happens. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Where the guy has a group of his you know his chums on stage, or whatever, and they'll like <laughs> and they'll like finish the last bar with him. You know, like yeah, say the last yeah. word sometimes that can be quite powerful was that happening at this event or was it more just solo no it was more so i think for some of dialects bars right. there was a couple of that mm -hmm. from a couple uh like zen might have said a couple and i said a couple because he sent me some of his bars before right, right, right um but they weren't like like they planned it they hadn't they, they yeah weren't, oh like it weren't anything like that but obviously like when they get a reload and like the crowd then knows what they're gonna say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like um, Dambo, he had a good, um, you know, the who, who, what, and where thing. Mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. guy does that freestyle. Yeah, like yeah. he had a he had a bar, and he was like, Briggs. He said, "I've got your opponent." He was like, "Who and where and who and what and where and that." So like when he got the reload and after that, and then said it again, like the whole crowd was saying, "Who, who, what, and where and no, 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 and all like that." And I, I like that in a ground clash. I don't like it in a cappella when like um they'll get the boy or something to like finish a bar. I I don't really like that yeah. personally. But in grime clashes I think it works. It it adds to the hype, especially when the crowd say it. Then like the MC gets gassed then mm -hmm. and like it's just it adds to the energy of the battle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, that and and a ba battle I'm sure was was energetic as hell. Impact versus easy, easy. Is it easy? -E? Is it ease? How do you pronounce that? I think it's easy. Easy. Okay. Yeah, I think okay. it's just easy. Okay. But this was this was our, our impact. I've wanted to see him clash live for yeah. ages, and like when he posts stuff on Facebook and that, and I on it on beat, I I think he's sick oh, on yeah. beat. Um, and yeah, this battle was really good. Uh, I think Easy started a bit slow, mm -hmm. and um, then the Impact had this bar about um, Easy's real name. And they were like, "You think you're gonna beat me on Grime? Is this kid for real? Your real name's Edward Pickinskill." Like <laughs> the crowd just went fucking mad for it. So then, like Easy got a bit like aggy, and they were like, "Oh, I'll take you outside, then you soft couldn't." So he like said something, oh, sure. something along them lines. And then um, after that, I think it just like awoke the the belly of the beast in Easy, and he just went off. Mm. Like there were a moment in one of his rounds, and he would just like pause for a bit, and then out of nowhere, he started shouting and was just like going off, and it was sick. Like mm. that battle, um, I think, really upped the uh, not the gas, <laughs> the vibe and the energy yeah, in yeah, the room, yeah, yeah. like. I know what you mean. Because impacts like aggressive and mm. like, always in his face, and easy were like getting in his face and and all that, and like the energy in the room, like it was just it was sick. And I think that battle, the first two battles were good, but like that easy and impact like really lifted mm. the room, and everyone were like getting getting into it more. 
That's good. But yeah, I guess they're more seasoned, aren't they? Impact, especially. Yeah, so you should yeah. expect that of him. Great to see that he delivered as well, or to hear that he delivered. He's so precise, Impact. Like whenever I yeah, listen to him on beat, he's so there's so much packed in. Like it was uh, after the event um, went to Nando's, and he was like saying some of his bars, um, and like uh, were like like that's too complicated for grime. <laughs> like there was some of his bars he was saying, like and you wouldn't have got it in the building, no, no. way. So it's no, like no. you have to wait for the footage. Yeah, sometimes you just have to say like, "I'm a big man, like Hagrid." Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I have to tell you one that dialect said afterwards. Oh, that was. When we get I think to I've it. read it. I think I know which one it's going to be. Yeah. Um, oh. But, <laughs> but oh. yeah, no. And six C. Um, this battle was great then as well. And uh, pushing on to a battle that I just know was going to be a killer. Excited to hear about this one. Zen versus Vigilant. Yeah, this was a. I think you were like a, a slept on type battle. Right. Like, um, I don't think any people were hyping it up as much as they were hyping up Raptor and Dialect and uh, mm-hmm. Afghan Dan and Peace Soldier. Um, but this one was just, oh, I was levels. Like, there was so much gas, there was so much back and forth, and yeah. they're both arguing with each other during the rounds, and they were just, it was just going off. Like, it was just sick. Zen was just Zen. Mm-hmm. Like, long hair Leng Man, as he calls himself. Like, <laughs> it was. It was sick, vigilant. He just, he just killed it. Mm. Like he's, I was kind of at the back of the crowd for this one, right. so I didn't, I didn't get the like the energy from it as much. But I could tell it was there, and it was just, it was sick. And then they started going into this freestyle bit, and like, um, I think Zen called, uh, vigilant Imran. And then right. like vigilant like then did like a two bar thing and said you look like Bora and it, uh, everyone just went oh, I was mad <laughs> it was it was so sick that bow was just the energy levels were just mm. everyone getting heights MCs getting heights t- like chatting shit to each other all the way through the battle and I just after that the crowd were like this is sick like mm. this event is so sick. Oh, that's so good, man, to hear, because, I mean, Don't Flop did sort of their Grime Clashes event and Beat Fighter and stuff, but this seems to have been yeah. a whole, the whole different sort of take on it. Yeah, this this were like, I think it were a lot better of an event. I didn't go to the one with, like, Dialect and Eyes and that and mm. whatever, but I feel like this event is were probably better than that, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, no, you're, you're, by the sounds of it, I, I agree. And what was top of the card then? Because uh, if you look on the flyer, it wrapped a dialect, but I'm guessing that was second, or... Yeah, it was Peace yeah. Soldier and the Afghan Dam were last. Yeah, yeah, there was... So, okay, wrapped a dialect then first. Um, oh, uh, um, great, right? I mean, boy. I imagine, yeah. Shout out to Sam Strickland. He, he brought me onto stage to see this one. Right, and right. I was, all the leads man behind dialect and wrapped to bless him, I'd like... No one behind him, like Briggsy and Briggs. Youngs and Youngens Fusion, and that, like that were it. But to be fair to him, like it was such a heavy clash, mm. like set so much, le- so many levels. Like it wasn't just about the flows and that, especially with dialect, because you were telling me he wanted to show people that he's not, he's not just got flows on in grime and that he's got actual bars and like the shit he was saying. Like it was, it was fucking crazy. The whole the whole room were just getting gassed over mm. this battle and they were shit talking with each other like raptors like why is he saying what is he saying dial it's like yo listen blood listen blood you'll hear it blood oh, i was just oh, i was such a sick clash excellent man uh, raptor how how good was he i um, to be honest when when people people usually say like oh you can't hear dialect you can't understand him mm-hmm. But like I could, I couldn't really understand what Raptor was saying right. in, a, in a lot of his bars. But like I could hear dialects more clearly, and um, I don't know. It was mm. it was a bit it was a bit weird. Like Raptor was he looked like he was more doing a set because he was sure. rapping to the crowd a lot. Like a, in the Izzy Gibbs battle, he's like rapping to the crowd a lot and mm-hmm. and that, which I thought I sh- he shouldn't do that too much. He should just he should more battle dialect more rather than just rap into the crowd mm-hmm, right. mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah yeah on the words of weapon showings future especially he goes to his opponent you know he's so yeah. direct and um yeah i've been watching a lot of those battles recently they're so good but, but like get- raptor was like he was he i said some of he was he was on about leads man mm-hmm. and then like literally he went into like dialects like in the middle of dialects boys and started chatting shit oh shit 
and he was just like, and he was proper, he was going sick, and he, oh, he was just, he was like he was sending for the whole of fucking Leeds. Damn. And, oh, he was, it was sick. Like, he just went up, like, in middle roller room and started spitting some shit in that, and then, like, everyone's getting gas because he's, like, taking on the whole of Leeds by himself. <laughs> like, it was fucking sick. That's sick, that's sick, man. Yeah, looking forward to that one. But, of course, we have to talk about Peace Soldier versus Afghan Dan. I mean, I'm so happy this went down because obviously, yeah, you know, yeah. I don't think he'd shown any sign of it, but there was the feeling that, oh, he might not just turn up because it is a lot of pressure and stuff like that. So how how early was Dan there on the day? Um, Well, I went to meet him with Sam Strickland. Oh, you went to meet him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, So we would, he's, he, was, he told Sam, oh, my, my hotel's looking at the train station. So we were like, right, fine. So we were waiting outside this hotel for fucking ages. He went answering his phone. Uh, it was like his phone were off or he were on the phone to someone because he just he kept going straight to voicemail. Right, then, right, right. So we managed to get older him. We like walked off a bit to see if he was somewhere else or something. So, And then he finally uh, finally answered. So then we were like, right, we'll meet you outside the hotel now. We were like, fine. So we got outside the hotel, we rung him again. <laughs> and he was like, I'm stuck in traffic. And we were like, what? What, what do you mean you're stuck in traffic? You're supposed to be <laughs> in the meeting lobby. us outside the hotel. Yeah, exactly. Because obviously he would have had to have checked out at a certain time. Mm. <coughs> so we were just like, what the fuck? And then we just see him walk around the corner casually with like two of his boys or something. Mm. And he were like, yes, bro, you're cool, you're cool. And he were like, you're proper, proper shaky. I don't know if it were the nerves or... Right. Or some of people like proper. Like he said, you're right, bro, to me and Sam about hundred times in a minute. <laughs> like reload. Yeah, he was reloading his <laughs> reloading himself. Like and then so we were like walking to the event, and they were like, oh, the, um, what times the event starts? Something like that. So we were like four, and they were like, oh, because um, I need to meet one of my boys in this in this car. We were like, what? <laughs> They're like, oh yeah, blah blah blah. Can you just send me the the details like the postcode and that of the event we were like yeah but just make sure you're there mm-hmm, like yeah. oh yeah yeah no worries no worries no worries so me and sam walked to the event and then um he told someone then he'd gone to get his hair cut right so <laughs> he, he, at first he were like oh i'm just going to meet someone in a car mm-hmm. and then he's like i've gone to get an air cut but he did make he made it to the event like within enough time like, but it was just, it was weird. Like, mm. I think the nerves had got to him. And, uh, I don't know. But the, to the clash, like, the clash was so sick. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, Afghan Dan wh- came out and t- he got, like, a reload, like, within, like, his first few bars, like, <laughs> and, like, the crowd were gassing and that. And, That's like, good. It, it, were, it were pleasant, it were pleasant pleasant surprise to see that he was doing so well mm. like, i went next to her and we were like yo he's actually like going off like yeah yeah but p soldier was too much for him well i mean yeah you'd think yeah so. like but it would <laughs> again obviously p soldier's got like the whole of fucking leads behind <laughs> him and like afghan dan's got like three four 12 year olds like that have come <laughs> right. to fucking support him one look like his brother or something right. like his little brother and his fucking mate or something so, and like you've got P Soldier saying, "Oh my man, is strapped up," and then all these boys like, blah, 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 like to Afghan Dan and that, and bless him, like it. It was probably hard to have taken something like that, but to be fair to him, he did well mm-hmm. for his first clash, yeah. and against P Soldier as well, and to a crowd he's never performed in front of before, a crowd that's not just there for him, because when he's done a show. He'll have done the show. Like, everyone's there for him. Mm-hmm. Everyone knows all his lyrics, so he can just fucking do his ting and that. Yeah. And but like the, with a crowd that's they're not all there just for him. Like, and he obviously, P Soldier's got all his boys behind him. And if you're from Leeds, you're going to be wanting to wanting to support P Soldier more. And uh, but P Soldier's getting reload after reload after reload. Like he was, he fucking killed it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Was it um, one of his best performances, P Soldier? I mean, yeah, yeah, especially on Grime as well. Yeah, yeah. like I want to see him on the Don't Flop, uh, keeping it one forty in Chef. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I think he'll put on, but unfortunately, Afghan Dan pulled out his phone in his third yeah, round. Yeah, I heard. Um, 
and it weren't just like a a like look at your bars type thing like he was reading off his phone but he was choking at the same time like I... like, cause I think I saw a, a post he made on Facebook that said that he was like writing his bars still like the day before right. so like obviously he wasn't too well prepared no but, but... Um, he, he did well apart from that he did well, and he he surprised a lot of people. Like people were going up to him after, like they were. Um, I saw Vigilant and Swift and that go up to like Swift. For, like I think gave him some like tips and pointers and and that because I think he could be good. Like he had some he had some good stuff. Like he were remixing like Devilman bars, which weren't like he was like why like what why are you doing that yeah, for? Yeah, but yeah. Um, to be fair to him, he did all, he did all right. He did better than most people would do in front of Peace Soldier if they've never had a grime, uh, grime clash before. In Leeds as well. Exactly. So I, you have to give him props for that. Yeah, yeah, you do. And, like, yeah, I'm happy that he didn't just choke three rounds or whatever. And hopefully, if yeah. he does come back, um, you know, he knows what he's in for now, be a bit more prepared and whatever. But, yes, yeah, yeah. you know, I mean, after after facing off against Peace Soldier in Leeds, there's not many more people he could face off that would give him more of a run for his money. So No, that's true. Um, that is good, but no, it sounds like sounds like a great event, man. Sounds like it was a real success. Yeah, shout out to Briggsy and Raptor. Oh like, yeah, of course. Like the he just, just ran so sick, and the like everyone enjoyed themselves. Don't they? I don't think they were like one person that like thought the event was like shit or anything like that. Yeah. Like you have to for the first event like that, and it's it takes a lot more than just like getting the battlers on stage, and that you've got to think about beats and stuff like that. So. Shout out Briggs and Raptor every time. Mm. It was a sick event. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, it sounds like a crazy event. Um, are they going to do a pay per view? Or um, I think so. Mm-hmm. They were looking at the footage from it, and I think because they've used the lapel mics, they've just got the footage straight from that. Yeah. Um, I think they're waiting for the footage to come from the uh, the venue, and I think they may do one, but they'll probably only do like Zen Vigil and Afghan Dampy and um, Dialect and yeah. Raptor. Yeah, I think I think I saw someone put on Facebook quite rightly. They might be a little careful with that Afghan Dan P because some it will get pirated quite quickly. So yeah. maybe just do that for a YouTube. I mean, who am I still don't know what to do? But you know what I mean. Like, it's yeah, just, yeah, it's, it's gonna be a lot, 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 lot of eyes on it, a lot of eyes on it. But um, Dom, you know, I've, I've said to you ages ago, we're definitely gonna do it. We are gonna do an episode all about gun bars soon. Um, yeah, man. So uh, need need to get you back for that. But um, until then, uh, thanks again for joining me, man. Yeah, big respect for having me on again, bruv. 